Uh, hello guys. So today we are going to learn about a new concept that is related to attention network, uh, which is called teacher forcing. So uh, let's start. What is this concept and why do we use it? So uh, in the last video, we saw that we have input uh, input sentence, this is a book, and you want to translate it into Hindi. Uh, ek hai. Now to generate the second word uh, of the decoder, we take the uh, all the encoder inputs, all the words of encoder inputs, plus uh, the previous word of decoder as input, right? So uh, we would need all these four words plus the uh, uh, first word to generate the uh, to generate the second word to generate the second word uh, as output now similarly to generate the third word uh, in decoder we will take input of first and the second word uh, query of query vector of first word and second word as well as all the encoder inputs and to generate the fourth word of decoder, we will take all the three query uh, vectors of uh, previous three words and we would take all the uh, encoder words as input uh, to generate the uh, fourth word, right? So uh, what happens is, uh, let's say we have four words as input in encoder. And we are using these four words in generating a first word. And in generating second word, we are taking first and second, both as input plus uh, these four words to uh, generate. Now to generate second word, the idea is we would take whatever is generated in the, uh, whatever generated previously. Let's say, uh, for example, uh, this first word that was generated was quite wrong. This word was wrong. But to generate the second word, we are taking it as input, right? Uh, we are taking first word as input. So this would be, chances are that this would also be wrong. Now to generate third word, we are taking first word as input as well as second word also. Uh, the attention from first and uh, second word. Uh, query vector from first and second word, both the words. The third word, chances are that third word would also be wrong. So to avoid this condition, a concept called teacher forcing came into existence. So what does this teacher forcing do? So uh, this teacher forcing, uh, basically, it uh, because uh, you you know that uh, let's go to basic. You know that while training a model, uh, we have input sentence and we have output sentence, right? We have a data set where we have set of English sentences and where we have set of Hindi sentences, right? So we have English uh, and Hindi both while training and while testing, we only have English sentence and we want to generate the uh, Hindi sentence, right? That's what we want to do. So during training, we have English sentences as well as Hindi sentences. So in teacher forcing, what do we do is, uh, that during training because we know what is the first word of the output right we know the input sentence and we also know the output sentence so we have uh, so this is the input sentence and let's say uh, uh, this is the output sentence having four words so we know at the training time we know so we you instead of what is generated by this encoder using it uh, we use whatever we know is the output of the decoder, okay? So we know the output, so we will use these two words to generate the third word. Even if, in this case, even if the second word generated was wrong, we will not use a generated word. We will use the original uh, data set where we know the output already. So we will use the words from the output uh, uh, target sentences where we already have the data set in the training. This concept is called teacher forcing that we are forcing decoder to use the sentences that are already available with it instead of what it is generating.
So to generate the third word in the decoder, we will use uh, the target output which we already have in the data set for first and second word instead of what the model has generated as first and second word to this is done to reduce the error so that's the concept behind teacher forcing thank you